Hello Power Apps Maker, this is Ahmed Saleh again. I have a quick video today to show you how you can extract the choices lists from the Dataverse. So we have here, as you can see, we have multiple choices, objects or lists or pick lists, and they have multiple labels and values. Each label has a value. And I would like to export them in Excel like this, or I want to just be able to have them copy and paste or somehow just to have them like this, how I can do this from the Dataverse using Power Automate. I have this Power Automate flow. It's a manual trigger flow. And we are using the first action is the invoke an HTTP request. Using in this request, we are using the method get and the URL of the request, we are using this URL right here, which I will post in the blog post as well. The first part of this URL, it's your environment URL. To get your environment URL, you can go to the gear right here and get, go to the session details. And as you can see, this is the instant URL or instance URL that you can copy. So you just need to copy this part right here. This is the first part. And then the last part, which is after, after the equal right here, this is the logical name of the choice value or, or of the choice object. So in case, in our case here, the color choices. So if you go and hit edit, and then you go to the advanced option, you can see this is the name that we're looking for, which is the logical name. So I copy that one and I just paste it right here. Now, the next action that we are using is the parse JSON. But for the parse JSON, I'm passing the body, which is the output of the invoke and HTTP request. I need to generate the schema for to parse that JSON from a sample. And that's why I'm using the compose right here. So I'm using the compose action and I'm passing the body of the invoke and HTTP request. And once I do that, if I actually go ahead and run the test now, I want to show you how I was able to get the schema or to get the sample of my schema so I can generate this schema right here. So I'm going to go ahead and run the flow. Done. And I have now the invoke was successful. I have passed this to the compose and I have this output right here. So I'm going to hit copy this output and I will open my Visual Studio code and paste it. And here we have all this information about all these values and labels in our option set or in our choices or in our choice object. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the value and I'm looking for the label. I don't need to get all this information. So what I'm looking for, and this is what did the trick for me. So I was able to copy this actually open, open curly brackets from here. And I will take everything until before the descriptions. And obviously I'm not taking that comma. So I don't need the description. I just need this part of my JSON right here. I copy this and then I will go back to my power automate flow. And this is what I did. I generate from a sample and I just pasted this part right here. If I click done, probably I'm missing one curly bracket as you can see here. I'm missing this curly bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and close it from here and click done. That's it. This is the first step after the invoke an HTTP request. Next is to create the HTML table. I'm passing to this HTML table this formula right here, as you can see. So it's basically the body. I'm using expression, the body of the parse JSON, and I only need the options. And if we go back here, I want to show you that this is here. This is the array options right here, as you can see. So that's the first thing. So this is the options that we're looking for. So I'm actually getting the options. That's what I'm passing to this HTML table action. The second action right here, as you can see, this is basically I'm just using a value of the first item. So the first item in that array I want it. So to do that, it's just an expression. Use the item function. Open square brackets, single quote, and I'm putting the value. And this will give me the value in that JSON that we have parsed. 
this is for the first one and I'm actually just adding two headers value and label for the label header I'm using another function and this function is it's the same item function we are using instead of value label then I'm getting also this so the, the label value that I'm getting so I'm gonna actually show this in the JSON right here so I want to get actually the label value that it's inside this part of this item here which is the user localized label copying this now so to do that it's actually just open the single quote put here and then I'm getting the label right here and that's it that's what I'm using for this part right here and then save let's go ahead and test run the flow done and if I come right here I can see I have my values from that choice list let's try actually another choice list I'm gonna get the cupcake the cupcake item flavors so I'm gonna hit edit I will go to the advanced option all what I need is this logical name right here and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this so I'm going back right here in the invoke and HTTP requests and I'm changing only the logical name of my choice list save and test run the flow and as you can see I have all these value right here I just copy them and this is what I did I just paste them right here and now I have them right here that's it I hope you have enjoyed the video please share and subscribe and I will see you in the next tip and trick with the Dataverse